guys, I am Tony. Welcome to Simple Advantage. I hope you're having a great day. Today I want to talk a little bit about some of the differences between a gaming PC and consoles. I know a lot more people are spending time inside right now because of COVID and obviously we can't be traveling as much or going to events as often. So a lot more people seem to be getting into gaming lately. And so if you're somebody who is interested in getting into it, um, or maybe you want to buy something for your kids so that they can game and you're not sure which to go with, a console or a PC, um, here's a few things that might help you in that decision. So we'll start with the, the gaming PCs. Uh, personally, I, I game on a PC more than I do on a console. I have both. Um, just because there are a lot more games on PCs and in my opinion, one of the big advantages that PC has over console is uh, versatility because you can choose how you want to play. Uh, you can play with a mouse or a keyboard and there's tons to choose from out there. Or you can play with a controller, whether it be an Xbox, PlayStation, or a custom controller. And so you kind of, you get that freedom to choose how you want to play. Um, the other thing I really like about PC gaming is you don't have to pay, you know, for a subscribed service in order to get line, get online and play. Um, most games you get on and once you buy, buy the game, and some of the games are even free, you just get on and play. And you can play with your friends, uh, you know, put your headsets on, get together in a group and go at it. And that, I mean, that's kind of nice because, like, I know you have to pay monthly um, or yearly, however you set it up, uh, to access online play on Xbox and PlayStation. Uh, one thing that I don't like so much about gaming PCs is they are a lot more expensive. And kind of how much you pay is what you get when it comes to, to gaming PCs. So on the low end, you can start for like $700, $800, and that will give you a PC that does okay. It will probably be able to play most games. Um, it's not gonna be at the highest frame rate or the best quality, um, but usually most games, it'll be able to play them. It just depends what you get. And, but you can go all the way up. Like if you want the best experience, um, you know, you can spend upwards of $2,000 on one of these things and you can get, you know, the best frame rates, the best performance, everything, um, but it's going to cost you. And that's where I think the consoles kind of excel is on price. I know that Microsoft just revealed the price of the Xbox Series S, which is coming out and it's only $300, which is like a heck of a deal. I think it's going to fly off the shelves, to be honest. And you compare that, uh, the Xbox Series X is $200 more, and that's that's the high-end one. Um, so you're only looking at $500 for the high-end Xbox. And yeah, you're gonna have to pay that monthly um, subscription, but you know it's still cheaper than you know spending an additional $500 on a gaming PC. And so one thing that's really good about consoles is even though you're paying less you're still going to get good performance. Now, it might not be as crazy good as it is on some like super high-end gaming PCs, but it's still going to be good. Um, I know that the Xbox Series X has uh, more storage than the Series S, and it's supposed to run everything in 4K, um, whereas the Series S is going to run everything in full HD. In my opinion, it's not a $200 difference. Um, I would go with the Series S for $300, like, that's a super good deal. Uh, Sony hasn't announced their prices on the new generation of PlayStation yet, but hopefully it'll be really competitive, and then people will be able to, you know, kind of choose which one they want and not have to worry about price so much. But that, that is the thing that is really nice about consoles, is you get a good gaming experience for a lot less money. Um, and then, you know, just kind of the ease of use is kind of nice too. Um, sometimes if I don't feel like, you know, getting on my PC and stuff, if I just want to, you know, chill or whatever, I'll go get on my PlayStation and hop on PUBG and it's just, you know, you hit the button, it turns on, you're in the game in a few seconds. So 
I, I would say if you're somebody that's really price conscious, definitely look in the console category. I think you're going to be better off doing that. But if price isn't an issue for you and you just want a really good experience, you can go crazy with PC. I mean, you can, you can get whatever you want and there's so much you can customize on it. Uh, in my opinion, that's a whole lot of fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, a like and sub would be super appreciated and I hope you have a blessed day.